Uh, the way I see it as, I'm not sure if you can hear me. Can you hear yes, me? Uh, yes, we've yeah. got Chad, Chad on the line. He's all the way from you're in Detroit, isn't it? Detroit, United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, very warm welcome all the way from Detroit. We appreciate you so much. I've known Chad for about 10 years. And uh, he's, also got, he's also an entrepreneur. And it's really great to have you on, Chad. Please, please uh, do share your comment. So the way I see it is with another way of uh, looking at the positioning of wealth transfer that God has been uh, uh, revealing and dealing with me is basically it's ascending to your chariot throne. Is when you're on your chariot throne, you're in that governance over a certain uh, heavenlies, if you will, over people. And that's what Joseph did. He ascended mm. to his chariot throne. He was over people. That positioning is you ascending to your chariot throne. So some people may have their chariot throne over a medical field, as you, Timika. Some people may have their chariot throne over the entertainment field. So that's why I'm I'm trying to do is have my chariot throne, which I have authority over the entertainment structure, the entertainment field. Some people may have their chariot throne over farming. Some people may have their chariot throne over uh, in, in ministry, obviously, or, or whatever your career passion is, your chariot throne, your, your world of dominance. God needs us to position and to ascend, but part of ascending is positioning, doing the necessary steps to ascend to your chariot throne. Because if you're not there, if you're not sitting in that seat, then some other force, some other power, some other dominion, some other principality is sitting there and is reaping the benefits of your wealth. Mm -hmm. That wealth, is, you said, all the gold and the silver is mine, thine. Mm -hmm. We have also inherited we are co-heirs with Christ, heirs of God. So that gold and silver is also us. It's ours. But mm -hmm. other principalities and powers, people and positions of power are reaping the benefits that are ours. Mm -hmm. You see? Because we have not positioned ourselves in that chariot throne of power. What Joseph did, he was able to, to, to receive the, the resources. When you have control over resources, I've been reeling that in my, my class right now. When you have control over the resources, then you have control over the power. That control over the resources equals money, as the man was talking about. So when you have control over resources, control over whether information, not just resources, but control of information, then you have control or then you have a sense of power. And that power is wealth as well. So what is lacking also in the Christian community is we don't have enough people in the body of Christ who have, uh, have power in society. And mm. that's not scriptural, right? I mean, Joseph was powerful. Abraham was powerful. Isaac, uh, Jacob, these were powerful men and women of God. We're, our power, we, we have all, God has given us power and authority. Above all principality and power, it should be translated into our natural dimension. But we have positioned ourselves to ascend to that chariot throne. So that is my sort of metaphor, is that part of that positioning is you ascending to your particular chariot throne, which you, you have dominance over. And that's where the wealth flows to you. If you're not sitting on that chariot throne, it won't flow to you. You have to sit on your chariot throne. Wow, that's amazing. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for that. Uh, men of God, I just want uh, to men of God, I just want to ask a question. question. Uh, in this world transfer, this world 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 the world, world, uh, world. one of the areas of the area. where there's going to be a world transfer is uh, in the cryptocurrency space. 